Why are Komodo dragons the strongest lizards? When you think of lizards, some examples might come to mind. You know, like the gecko, iguanas, or chameleons. All of these lizards are relatively harmless, and some would even consider keeping them as pets. But there's one such lizard that strikes fear into the hearts of every man or woman by its name alone. That's right, today we are going to take a closer look into the Komodo dragon. History First off, let's give a little background on our large friend, shall we? Well, the Komodo dragon is a large carnivorous lizard native to the islands of, you guessed it, Komodo in Indonesia. This island is part of the Lesser Sunda Islands in the Indonesian archipelago. What's cool is that the first scientific descriptions and accounts of the Komodo dragon date back to the early 20th century. In 1910, a Dutch colonial administration officer heard reports of a land crocodile on Komodo Island. How scary is that? Well, eventually, in 1912, a Dutch soldier and explorer, along with his team, managed to capture two live Komodo dragons and brought them to the attention of scientists. The director of the Zoological Museum in Boga, Java, examined the specimens and named the species Varanus komodoensis in 1912. The name Komodo obviously originates from the island on which the lizards were first discovered, and the dragon parts, well, we'll get to why they're called dragons. Now, these dragons aren't too picky about where they rest. They can be found in all kinds of habitats on these islands. You'll see them roaming around tropical forests, savannas, grasslands, and even near the coast. They're adaptable creatures, you know. But when it comes to their favorite spots, they love the dry and arid regions. Size Moving on, let's talk about the infamous size of this proclaimed dragon, and it's for good reason. Komodo dragons are giants among lizards. They reach staggering lengths of up to 10 feet, 3 meters long. Just imagine a lizard that's as long as a small car, and it doesn't stop there. These reptilian beasts can weigh around 150 pounds, 70 kilograms. Their size is truly jaw-dropping, and if you get the chance to see a Komodo dragon up close, you'll be amazed at the sheer magnitude of these creatures. They're like living dinosaurs. Muscular body What goes hand in hand with their massive size is their muscular body. They've got some serious muscles going on. You can see it in their strong and robust physique. Their limbs are thick and powerful, ready to pounce on their prey in a split second. Their legs are thick and packed with muscle that allows them to move swiftly and with agility. These guys are no slouches when it comes to chasing down their meals. Their muscular legs provide the strength and speed they need to run in bursts of speed reaching up to 20 kilometers per hour, 12.4 miles per hour. But that's not all. Their impressive legs help them climb and swim with ease. Also, let's not forget about their impressive tails, which are long and burly and serve as a balancing tool, but also a weapon. They can whip that tail around with force, delivering a powerful strike to anything that dares to mess with them. But it's not just their limbs and tails that are muscular. Their whole body exudes strength. Komodo dragons have thick necks and broad chests, giving them the appearance of true reptilian powerhouses. They've truly got the physique to match their fierce reputation. All of this gives it the name of a dragon. Skin The skin of this legendary dragon is tough and textured, built to withstand the wild and rugged environments they inhabit. It's actually covered in a layer of scales that give them a unique appearance. So if you had the chance to run your hand along their skin, you'd feel a rough and slightly bumpy texture. 
Their scales serve multiple really important purposes. Firstly, they provide protection against potential threats. The scales act as a kind of shield, reducing the chances of injury from sharp objects or even other lizards during fights or territorial disputes. It's like wearing natural armor. Secondly, who can forget the coloring of their scaly skin? This shading helps them blend in with their surroundings, making it easier for them to ambush their prey or stay hidden from predators. One interesting thing about their skin is that it's not just for looks. It also plays a role in thermoregulation. What are we talking about? Well, the Komodo dragon is ectothermic, meaning they rely on external sources of heat to regulate their body temperature. The skin helps them absorb and retain heat from the environment, allowing them to stay warm and active. You're probably familiar with the concept. Venom and Teeth Up next, let's talk about the secret weapon these lizards have that adds an extra level to their hunting skills. Venom. Yes, you heard it right. They've got venom. The Komodo dragon possesses specialized glands in their lower jaws that produce venomous saliva. This venom contains a cocktail of toxic proteins and enzymes that can absolutely dominate their prey. When the Komodo dragon bites its prey, it injects this venom into the wound, which serves multiple purposes. First, it acts as an anticoagulant, preventing the blood from clotting and causing the prey to bleed excessively. This ensures that the prey's blood keeps flowing, weakening it over time. Second, the venom contains substances that induce shock and hypertension in the prey. This makes the victim feel weak and disoriented, further compromising their ability to escape. It's like the Komodo dragon is unleashing a one-two punch on its unfortunate target. But here's the interesting part. While the venom contributes to the Komodo dragon's hunting strategy, it's not the sole factor responsible for bringing down their prey. Oh no. These lizards have a formidable set of teeth that are built for tearing and gripping their prey. Their mouths are lined with razor-sharp teeth, each with a serrated edge that helps them inflict maximum damage. What's cool is that their teeth are recurved meaning they curve backward, creating a deadly hook-like shape. This design allows them to sink their teeth deep into their prey and prevent it from escaping easily. Once they've clamped down, it's hard to break free. The teeth of a Komodo dragon aren't just sharp, but they're also quite large. They can grow up to an inch, 2.5 centimeters in length, giving them the means to deliver some serious puncture wounds. Seriously, when the Komodo dragon bites down, it can exert a tremendous amount of force, aided by its strong jaws and muscular neck. I'm talking 600 PSI. For some frame of reference, you need about 100 PSI to break into human skin. This combination of strength and sharp teeth allows them to rip apart flesh and break bones with relative ease. Hunting Tactics So, how does a Komodo dragon use all of these weapons to hunt? Well, they're all about stealth and surprise. These sneaky lizards blend right in with their surroundings using their skin, patiently waiting for the perfect moment to pounce. When the time is right, they kick it into high gear with their legs. With lightning-fast speed and a whole lot of power, they go for the kill. Their sharp teeth and venom are their secret weapons. They chomp down on their unsuspecting victims, leaving them no chance to escape. They've also got an incredible sense of smell. It's like they've got a built-in radar for detecting potential targets. Now here's the real kicker. When they've got their prey in their clutches, they don't hold back. They give it a wild shake. It's a brutal move that delivers a fatal blow, making sure their dinner is good and done. Diet A Komodo dragon's diet consists of a variety of animals. 
they're not too picky. Some of their preferred prey include mammals like deer, wild boar, and water buffalo. They're even capable of taking down larger prey than themselves thanks to their powerful jaws and hunting tactics. So, why are Komodo dragons considered the strongest lizards? Well, for one, it's the largest living lizard species on the planet. But other than that, the weapons we've mentioned in this video, both offensive and defensive, make it truly an apex predator to look out for. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications to stay up to date on videos like this. See you next time!